Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro, and it's time for BAFTA reactions. We did not watch the ceremony live, but we are live looking at the ceremony. Okay, let's see how many awards Oppenheimer won. Okay, here we go. What? Why are you doing this already? <sighs> Guardians won visual effects? What are you doing? <sighs> the Zone of Interest won something. <laughs> that was an international feature. Sound? Yes. Wow, he it beat Oppenheimer. Hey, wait, wait, wait. She's gonna leave. That's gonna happen anyway. I'm gonna take it down so she can stay. Ain't that something? Ain't it something? What the fuck? They saw Oppenheimer. They went, oh, goodbye. Oppenheimer. They watched Oppenheimer. They watched a loud. They watched a loud ass movie with a mega explosion. And some crazy sound work that everybody seems to love. And they said, nope, Zone of Interest, quiet, quiet sound that tells a whole different story. We like that better. They really like Zone of Interest. They really liked it. Well, look, that got nine nominations. So in a way, maybe, That's it, absolutely had, maybe, maybe it had sound. to win something, right? I've been saying it was number two for sound. Some people are like, oh, Maestro's number two. What the hell? No, it's not. They, that's that's something. I like it. I That's like pretty it. interesting. Spe wow. Special visual effects. Jesus! It's fucking Napoleon. Jesus, no! It, it gives you- it get, look, Here's a hint, it gives you absolutely no clarity whatsoever. Poor things! Poor things! Oh, of course- They just- It was possible that they would just go, I've seen that! It's shows a popularity that, contest. Shows that you could have gone with the most nominated film in the category and that- Who the fuck knows what's happening for the Oscar? The VES are gonna go with the creator, but it's not gonna help because we know that they don't give a shit about the popularity contest of the award. I don't know what's gonna happen for the Oscar. Production design. Here's one we predicted correctly. Poor things. Poor things. Nice. Barbie will get no awards tonight. Nope. Original score. It's Oppenheimer. You're just reading my reactions. You're reading something, I'm reading something. It's fine, we're both But you just together. know if it's what I expected or not. Yeah, obviously. All right, whatever. There's no other way to do this. Oppenheimer taking original score. Makeup and hair. Maestro? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What did we predict for this? Poor things? It's poor things. Really? Yeah. They did the favorite again. What do you think about Maestro not being the winner? I said I was predict predicting it for the yeah. Oscar. Yeah, that's fine. Next, editing. Op Oppenheimer. Oh. Alright. Alright, makes sense. On Costume later. design. Poor things. Poor things. Alright, we're going back Barbie Zero. It's, it's a little ping pong. It's like cinematography. Oppenheimer? Yes. Oh, I, yes. I, I thought that might have been poor things. I know, but we but still Oppenheimer. Casting. It's the holdovers. Ah! We we did it. We B did it, bitch. We did it. We predicted the hardest for the category. No, that was number one on Gold Derby. Was it really? I don't know how everybody knew that was happening, but it did happen. Wow, it did happen. And we actually predicted that, or yes, did we I? Did. Did I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We predicted the holdovers. Our, yeah. our reasoning for was it so interesting for that. We were like going yeah. back and forth, and we we're like, ah, oh, just fuck it. The whole order doesn't make that much sense, but it makes enough sense. It makes enough sense. Wait, what's the equation though? Number one, it wasn't nominated for SAG Ensemble, and number two, it had it was the only thing in the category that's probably winning an acting award. Supporting actor! Robert Downey Sweep! Jr. It's a Downey sweep! Supporting Sarah actress! Should you have deviated here? No. No, you should not have. Divine Did you? Randolph. You didn't you, you nope. Said, nope, I secured it with Divine okay. Randolph. So, our, our, the acting categories might be really fucking straightforward here unless they go with something that's other than Emma Stone, but it seems unlikely because Lily Gladstone ain't here. And they love fucking love four things. Killian Murphy! Really? He won? Yes! Let's How, go! That's not even surprising. Yeah, but it's a, big, it's a big he deal. He was bound to take the bath. Yeah, but it's still a big deal. It's a big award. And leading actress! Emma is it a wild card? No. No, it's not. No, Emma it's Stone. not. I'm predicting the Bachelors for the Oscars. I um, don't care that last year they did absolutely nothing. I'm still going to predict the Giamatti Bachelors. if he wins SAG. Sorry. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. No, nope, okay. not crazy. Oh, crazy. No. Oh, no. Crazy. If he wins Killian's SAG. Killian's going to win. Killian's going to win. Oh, if he if Giamatti wins SAG. Adapted scroll. <gasps> no way. No <gasps> way. It's not American fiction. Ah! I just want. I'm gonna look it. I'm gonna look it. I don't care what you say. I'm it's not gonna be Barbie at the Oscars. It's mean? not gonna be Barbie at the Oscars anymore. It's up. Up at number one. No. American fiction. Yes. That's winning the Oscar. Full fucking stop. And I've lost money on Barbie. I am not winning oh, money this I'm year. So I'm so sorry, dude. I know. I'm so sorry. American. Okay, sorry. that was a low. That was his only that nomination. Is, Look, this, this is so obvious now. Nomination. This is so obvious now. Everyone's saying Barbie's gonna lose somewhere. Okay, fine. You could still do production design and costume oh. and song, and then you can say best screenplay. No, Greta Gerwig. No. The fact that here, Christopher Nolan did not win screenplay, and 
American fiction beat Oppenheimer in screenplay. There's, n- they're not bitch, giving it to Oppenheimer. Bitch. They're American not fiction Oppenheimer. has won the Critics' Choice. Yeah, going to win WGA yeah. and. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. It's after yeah. the Oscars, but it's still, you know, we know the hypothetical scenario would have that. And BAFTA, where it wasn't yeah. shortlisted in ten, it was the only, it was the only nomination. Yeah, look, the only argument you can make here is that Barbie and American Fiction have not faced off in the same category yet. I, you I, cannot say Oppenheimer's winning hey, hey, screenplay. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's correct. I know Oppenheimer's fucking not winning, and Barbie's and, and Poor Things is fucking not winning. I would still say maybe Barbie can pull it off because in the U.S. We were more upset about the Gerwig director snub, and we liked that movie more than BAFTA, okay? I think there's still a world. I think there's still a world! I might have to predict American Fiction, though, because that's crazy, and that makes sense. You have to predict American Fiction. BAFTA didn't even fucking like that movie. I know! That's why you have to predict it. The Academy Awards actually liked the movie, and BAFTA didn't. They beat both of their favorite movies. This is exactly like when Coda won. It's exactly like when Coda won. Yes, I'm, I'm not saying yes, yes, I'm not yes, saying yeah, it's yeah. gonna win Best Picture, but holy shit, American Fiction could be number two for Best Picture. Stop. Done. Where's the path for poor things right now? Oh, it, scre- it can't get screenplay. It can't get director. Done. Over. Stop. Goodbye. American Fiction is the only film that could win SAG Ensemble and, and the win Oscar SAG for Ensemble in the Oscar Good for writing. luck. Original screenplay. Is Anatomy of a Fall? Anatomy of a Fall. Anatomy of a Fall. Look, BAFTAs. This year, they could be, you know, quite uh, uh, predict- pre- predictorative. Best director, <sighs> Nolan. Noli boy. Your guy, everyone's guy. Noli Nolan. boy. All right. Best animated film, Spider. <sighs> spider? No. Boy and the Heron? It is not Spider Verse. It is Boy, boy and the, the Heron. Heron. Golden Globe, BAFTA. But where the fuck did they just for? Oh my god, it's 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 absolutely late in the year bias. They're just forgetting that Spider Verse is good. Well, is hold good on. Movie. Everybody liked a lot of people like Boy in the Hair. Do you also know that the Annies happened? Do you know what won all the Annies? No, Spider Verse. Okay, I said seven Annies. Holy shit, seven. Yeah, I guess it's possible that people said, "Hey, we already gave the first Spider Verse an award. How about yeah. a bone for our boy Miyazaki, our yeah. favorite guy." But I will say this, I talk to a lot of people who are like, yeah, Boy in the Heron, like I love Studio Ghibli, but I didn't understand that movie. I know, that's why I'm, sh- that's why I'm, ki- I'm continuously will, shocked. I will keep predicting Across the Spider-Verse for that reason, but you have to have a little pause over it. Documentary, 20 days. Their Boy in Ukraine, 20 days in Mariupol. Film not in the English language. Anatomy of a Fall. Is it the zone of interest? It's the zone of interest. <laughs> How funny is that? That is cut, that is... When they face off! What the fuck? When they face off, one ends up beating the other. I, I can justify post that happening why that happened, if you want. First of all, Zone of Interest was a late release and a late bloomer. Yes. Has been having a good month. Probably more people's like number one thing of the year. But because you think that maybe like Anatomy is more accessible than all everybody who didn't like yeah. vibe with the Zone of Interest is going towards that movie, which one fucking screenplay. It's weird. It is Zone of yeah. Interest one sound and International. That's cr- oh, that's crazy. I mean, Zone of Interest always also got more nominations at the BAFTA than Anatomy of a Fall did. Zone of Interest beat Killers of the Flower Moon in screenplay. Why didn't that get Best Film over that? I don't understand. I how, do why not didn't know. Happen. Know it's definitely the number six for best film here. That's let's, so crazy. Let's see if it beats four things in British Can film. you imagine if they were facing off at the Oscars? That would be insane. All right. Uh, best Outstanding Debut by a British Writer. Is it How to Have oh, Sex? No. Wait, what is it? Earth Mama. Huh? Really? Earth Mama. Interesting. Okay. Outstanding British film. Holy shit. Is it the zone of interest? Yes. What? The fuck? It beats Anatomy of a Fall in one category and Poor Things in another category. That thing is like rolling through. They love that it's movie. It's like roaring through. They the love awards. the zone of interest. They love it. They love it. They're so upset that they could. They didn't nominate wow. it. They, you know what? If they could the go back in time, increased. if they could go back in time, they would have snubbed uh, Killers of the Flower Moon for it in Best Films. They just had to make room for that. They, they just wanted to give it a couple of work. They just yeah. really liked that movie. They watched it another time. Yep. They yep. realized that it was a masterpiece yep. Yep. and it masterpiece. was a you know, timeless film. Et cetera, et cetera. Best Film. Uh, you know what? I wish I, it's Oppenheimer. I wish that I could have seen a world where Zone of Interest was here. Just to know oh, if maybe, oh, buddy. maybe they Bitch. were just feeling it. They gave it best actor, best supporting actor, best director. And what else did it win? 
cinematography. Oh yeah. Editing and score. Let's see. Poor things only won five. That's a lot. I know it's a lot, but we were predicting seven. R.I.P. to Sandra Huller for winning Best yeah. Actress. That's yeah. not happening anymore. Even if Lily Gladstone wins SAG, I think I probably will go with Emma Stone. It's not going to win makeup. I'm sorry. I think it's going to be Maestro still. I still think it's going to be Maestro. I would say R.I.P. to anything that's not Anatomy of a Fall winning original screenplay. The screenplay categories in particular, like they, they almost always follow with some precursors and The Holdovers doesn't have any precursors. And your only arguments for Best Picture are... Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Don't say anything else. Just stop right it's there. It's pretty much that. There's a world where they could have done all this for Oppenheimer and then the Oscars have a completely different mindset. Guild BAFTA disparity is a real thing, but it's not going to be a thing this year. You know, I should have held on to American Fiction as number one in screenplay, but I did have it at number one before Barbie entered the category. I still want to say it's not impossible. Barbie wins, though. What this shows me about the visual effects category, which we talked about was being like the biggest fucking question mark of all, it matters if people have seen the movie. And people were right to say that if Poor Things was nominated, it might have won. And if Oppenheimer was nominated, it probably would have won. This is a category where you can sort of play favorites. Godzilla? Given that Poor Things won, maybe Godzilla. Stay tuned for SAG. And then we are anticipating that we will have Mr. Matt Neglia back here mm. to challenge us in our bubble perspective that mm. we are developing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Is there a sliver of hope that American fiction gets SAG Ensemble now?